Okay, this is uh, Nick Edmund from Richmond Scientific demonstrating Silverson uh, emulsifier. What we've got here is a 20 litre uh, reaction flask, um, and you can see that the water uh, is uh, being coloured in there to show the uh, action of the uh, mixing emulsifying head there, which you can now see. I've also put um, a coat cam there just to give an indication of scale. So, this is the piece of equipment here, this is a Silverson, which are well known as being the uh, foremost manufacturers of emulsifiers worldwide, British company. Um, and you can see here this is the Silverson which is capable of mixing from as little as a litre right up to 20 litres which you can see here. So what we're going to do now is just switch the machine on and uh, we'll uh, watch the action as we switch it on. You see here switch is just being turned just zoom in here start to increase the speed here about a quarter speed here you see the uh, action there there's no discernible movement in the product at the moment just ask my assistant to turn the power up there so if you can just turn the power up slowly please yeah that's it Okay. I'm starting now to see the action there. This is high speed now. See now it's really starting to race on and you can see the mixing action close to there with the homogenizing head at the bottom. And so this is a 20 litre flask. Ideal for mixing uh, materials liquid based polymers, pigments, paints etc and uh, a standard piece of kit within the chemical industry here in the UK and indeed overseas. I hope that, that gives you some sort of an idea as to the capabilities of this uh, machine. And just turn the uh, Speed down now. Got some quarter speed there, but you can see that there is still a degree of agitation there. The beauty with this of course is that it's variable so you can put as much energy or as little energy into mixing the product as you want to. All stainless steel contact parts, no problem with corrosion, all parts readily available from Silverson and uh, these are uh, extremely well made and very robust. Not a lot to go wrong on them. Simple motor, shaft arrangement, as you can see the bearings are good on it. You can always tell with a Silverson um, and that's a very smooth action. You should always run these wet, you should never run them dry. And to rest. <laughs>